Hello, young mathematicians. Today, we're talking about rounding whole numbers. Yippee! I'm excited. I hope you are. We talked about this a little bit in class. Now, I try to keep these videos under 10 minutes because I don't want to lose your attention. And so I'm going to talk a little bit fast. So bear with me. Remember, you can always rewatch the video if you need to, um, you know, need to remind yourself or refresh your memory. Okay, so we're talking about rounding whole numbers. That means not fractions, not decimals, just plain old whole numbers. Let's say we have the number 54, all right? Now, the rule with rounding numbers is this, is you might be asked to round to the nearest 10. We really want to pay attention to the place value of where we're being asked to round to, round to the nearest 10. So in this case, we're being asked to round to the nearest 10. So we're gonna look at this two digit number. We see four is in the ones place and five is in the tens place. Now, since we are being asked to round to the nearest 10, the number that we're gonna focus on is five because five is in the tens place. The simple rule is this. When you have a number, let me actually write the number again down here. 54 is between 50 and 60. We are dealing in base 10 when we are rounding. Base 10, that means uh, everything, uh, that means that the number generally ends in zero. Um, well, always ends in zero if it's more than a double digit number um, or if it's a double digit number or more. Sorry, I'm hopefully not confusing you. So we're being asked to round to the nearest 10. What that means is every number to the right of the tens place is going to become a zero. Um, again, don't let that confuse you too much. We will practice and talk about it uh, some more. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look to the number immediately to the right of the number that we're focusing on, which in this case, is the number five because five is in the tens place. We're gonna look at the number immediately to the right and it's a four. And the rule is if the number is five or more, if the number immediately to the right of the number that we're focusing on is five or more, we round up. If the number is less than five, so if it's zero, one, two, three, or four, we round down. 54 then gets rounded down to 50. So, 54 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50. Okay, let's try a slightly more complicated example. What if we have the number 65? So, 65, we're dealing with base 10. 65 is between 60 and 70. We are being asked to round to the nearest 10. Six is in the tens place. We're gonna look at the number immediately to the right of the six, because six is in the tens place. That's the number we're focusing on. So we're gonna look at the number immediately to the right of that. It's five. The rule is five or more, you round up. So 65 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. Five kind of gets people tripped up a little. So just remember five or more round up, five or more round up, five or more round up. Now here is what really gets people stuck sometimes. Let's say I have the number 258 and we are being asked to round to the nearest 10. Now, pay attention to the place value that you're being asked to round to because you could be asked to round to the nearest 100, which is 2, and that would be a different number than when you are asked to round to the nearest 10. In this case, you're being asked to round to the nearest 10. So, 5 is the number that we're going to focus on because 5 is in the tens place. 
As a reminder, everything to the right of the five becomes a zero. In this case, we only have one digit, eight, that's to the right of the number in the tens place. So you can think about it like this. 258 is between 250 and 260. Remember, we're dealing in base 10 and we're dealing with the tens place. So it's almost like you ignore every number to the left of the number that we're focusing on. And then we look at the number immediately to the right of the number that we're focusing on. It's eight. The rule is five or more and you round up. So in this case, we round up to 60. So 258 rounded to the nearest 10 is 260. But what if you need to round to the nearest 100? If you have that same number, 258, but now you're being asked to round to the nearest 100. So eight is in the ones place, five is in the tens place, two is in the hundreds place. Well, all the same rules apply. Basically, the number that you are now focusing on is the number two. The rule is everything to the right of the number that we're focusing on, and that's two because two is in the hundreds place and we're being asked to round to the nearest hundred. Actually, I should write that down just so you don't get confused. Round to the nearest hundred. Okay, so two is the number that we're focusing on. It's in the hundreds place. Everything to the right is going to become a zero. The question is, does it become 200 or does it become 300? Simple rule is this. We look at the number immediately to the right of the number that we're focusing on. In this case, it's two because two is in the hundreds place and we're being asked to round to the nearest hundred. And the number immediately right is a five. Five, the rule is five or more, you round up. You round up. So 258 rounded to the nearest hundred is 300. Now in school, and I'll share this very quickly, they're going to show you, they're, they're going to introduce rounding like this. They're going to show you a number and uh, let's do 71 and they'll probably show you a line and some people this, this is helpful for very visual learners and they're going to say okay we're dealing with base 10 so you've got 70 and 80 71 is between 70 and 80. Um, sometimes they put like a line in the middle to show the middle number and the rule is that everything to the right of the middle uh, if um, so they'll say 75 or more you round up and anything less you round down they'll show you kind of a visual and they'll, they'll say this too that okay well 71 is about here and if we are rounding to the nearest 10 then 71 is very clearly closer to 70 so 71 rounded to the nearest 10 is 70. That's helpful for visual learners. I've got one more minute that I wanna practice with you. So let's just do some quick exercises. Okay, round 76 to the nearest 10. If you got 80, you are correct.
round 800, I mean, sorry, round 892 to the nearest 10. This one's a little challenging. There is 10. Actually going to end up rounding up to 900 because we've got nine here, which would mean, let me explain this in a little bit more detail, can either be rounded down to 890 or 900 because 892 is between 890 and 900. Again, we're going to practice a lot in class. And let's do one more. Round 216 to the nearest 100. If you got 200, you are correct. I will see you in class soon. I can't wait. I hope this was helpful for you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.